What is up, everybody? It's Real Estate Nate, and guys, I'm pumped to come to you today, talk to you about something that's really important in uh, sales in general, but in real estate, and that is follow-up. Follow-up is the key to uh, getting deals. You guys don't want to don't want to know how many deals that I've gotten and probably lost because I didn't do the right follow-up. But I have gotten a lot from following up, you know, from people basically just dropping the ball and me staying consistent with. All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to follow up. What's the difference between automated follow up and uh, manual follow up? OK, because you need to know both if you want to be successful. Honestly, like the automated follow up, that's probably something that like I didn't understand and not a lot of people understand in the beginning. But automated follow up through your CRM, through workflows, through texting, emails, super important. So I'm going to show you guys how we ha have our set up and I'm going to show you how I do what's called the four piece combo. I think it might I teeter between like a three piece and a four piece combo. And that's all follow up. dive into what is automated follow-up okay let's kind of go into automation so what is automation automatic follow-up this is how my business set up and i'm sure other people have it set up as well but when a new lead comes into our business it gets automatically starts getting hit up right without anyone having to do anything any like personal touch it's just automatic so we have a new lead nurtured a lead comes in we start nurturing it with emails and texts and then there's there should be some uh automation for when a lead goes into not interested um, you know, didn't answer the call. We can't reach them. They there's automatic follow up with that, but let's check out the new lead nurture. What this is basically saying, guys, this is a workflow that when a, someone comes into the business, um, it starts them on a, uh, a workflow. So if they do not have a valid email, um, they get sent this side, I guess, of the workflow. And if they do, they get sent a text. And then, uh, you know, we create a task automatically for our leads manager to reach out to them. It waits a little bit. They get a text. And over here, you can see that it's sending emails. I'm sorry. This is no email. They get texts. And if they have a valid email, they start getting information that we're sending them. We send them an information packet about our business. We send them an email about, you know, any, pretty much anything, just trying to warm them up, get them, get them interested. We also send them text messages. So I guess the way we have it set up is if they have a valid email, they get emails and they get texts sent through Kixi. And if they do not have a valid email, they get uh, just text messages. So that is automated follow-up, guys. If you didn't know what that is, and you can set this up in Ari Simply, in FreedomSoft, you can set it up in HubSpot. If you want a HubSpot account, we, I mean, talk to us, we probably get it set up for you, but that is what automated follow-up is, okay? It's basically when you put it in a specific status, it starts triggering, you know, messages and emails to people, all right? Now that's great. Automatic follow-up necessary if you have a lot of leads coming in your business. Now, what is manual follow-up? Let's freaking show you. So I call it the four-piece combo or the three-piece combo. It's when you have a task that you set for yourself to follow up with someone. So I have this task. It's a little old. I haven't gotten, gone back to this in a while, but I'm just showing you guys. So I go into the lead and I, uh, the way that our CRM is set up is it's leads are under uh, ta um, or contacts and then opportunities or deals. It's just terminology. But basically what happens guys is you go to a task that you've set for yourself. So in a CRM, you're going to set a task for yourself to follow up on something specific you talked about. That's going to get them closer to you closing the deal. So I wanted to follow up on a video and what her husband wants to do. So I had made her an offer and to do an option to purchase agreement where we basically just push it out to our buyers and we let her know that we uh, could wholesale it. And she said she talked to her husband. I think she told me she was going to end up listing it, but I'm going to follow up anyway. Now, when I follow up, that's and it's manual, it's not automatic, it's not automated. I do these things. I call. Now, if they do not answer, I call again because sometimes it, people don't answer the first call. So I call two to three times. So that's one piece of the combo. Next thing is I text. So that's two pieces of the combo and I leave a voicemail. Okay. So that's the three piece combo. And sometimes if I have their email, I call it the four piece combo because I'll send an email. So I call multiple times. I'll text. I'll um, leave a voicemail and I'll um, send an email. So three, four piece combo, whatever you feel is necessary for the follow-up. So let's give her a call right now. Let's see if she answers. All right, eight zero one two zero nine one one eight three. I'm gonna show you guys the follow-up. Hello? Jennifer, how you doing? This is Nathan. I'm good, how are you? I just okay. wanted to, I didn't want to take too much of your time. I know you're probably busy, but do you, do you have a couple minutes to chat? Yeah, I do. I just kind of want to know what you guys ended up t uh, deciding to do to the property. Oh, he, wants to, he wants to see me get a little bit more out of it. Yeah, so do you remember what I kind of proposed last time? It was just kind of run it some of the buyers that I know in the area. Yeah. 
I might know some people. It's it's called an option to purchase agreement. It's just like a first rider refusal where we send it out to some of the, our investors that we work with in the area and see if they'd be willing to pay a little bit more. Because for me, the way the market is right now, it's kind of scary to take that on at, the, at like a little higher of a price. But there might be someone in the area that I know that might feel comfortable paying just a little bit more, you know? Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Uh, what were you thinking? Like, uh, what, what what was he hoping for? At least ninety thousand out of it. So, so one ninety for the property. Yes, one ninety. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna look at the comps again just to see if anything sold recently, just to kind of justify that. Um. Uh, well, let's do this. So he's one one ninety. I'll have to look at some comps, but if I can run, if we can sign an option to purchase agreement at one ninety, and I can pretty much put it out to the buyers that I, I work with in the area. And if they're close to that, um, then I then we obviously have a deal, right? Because they pay me. You don't have to pay me. I, they, I basically get my cut out of what they're able to pay. But uh-huh. if I go and do it and they're like, Nate, the best I can do is like 180 or like 175 or even 170. I'll be honest with you and I'll just say, hey, this is the best I was able to find. And then at that point, you guys can decide if you feel like that's worth it or not. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. So do you think you and your husband uh, would be cool signing like something like that, that illegally allows me to send this out to my buyers? Yeah, I can talk to him. I think it should be fine. Okay. So I'll text you um, after I look at the comps probably tomorrow. And and you want to just make sure that if you do decide to work with me on this, that you wouldn't want to sign an agreement with an agent because as soon as you sign, um, you know, they're going to want their commission whether they had anything to do with it or not. Yeah, we have signed with anything we met with an agent but we never signed anything okay so. cool all right well um right. jennifer i appreciate it and um i will uh I'll, I'll reach back out okay all right everybody so what i just did um is i did what's called an option to purchase agreement so what i explained her is I said, you don't want my cash offer let me push it out to my cash buyers in the area and see if they're willing to pay what you're wanting i don't do this with everyone and i definitely don't do this if the they want way, way too much. I think if I can find someone around like 170, 180, and I can get her to accept like 170 or even, you know, around there, then that's a $10,000 spread, right? You're basically just being transparent. The fact that um, you're going to wholesale it, like you don't even call it wholesaling. You just say, let me run it by my partners. And, and the reason why I like this strategy is because I gave her my low offer. I already tried seller finance and they're not really interested. But if they, if I push this out and I say, hey, I try, checked with like 100 investors in the area and all of them are at way less than what you want, then the options to do seller financing, the options and my cash offer is going to look more appealing. So I want to help her. I want her to win and hopefully, you know, I can find someone through doing the option to purchase. But um, if I can't, then, you know, at least... Uh, I did my best. We're working together like as a team now. And that's the cool thing that I like when I talk to sellers is like, I'm not trying to push anyone to take my cash offer if they don't feel confident with it. I have many tools that I can use. If you don't like my cash offer, I can list it for you. I'm not an agent, but I can find an agent to list it. If you don't like, you don't want to list it, I can do seller finance. I can do innovation. I can do an option to purchase. I have multiple tools. So if, again, if someone doesn't accept that low offer, then, you know, we can still, we can still get it done somehow. Okay. That's what you need to monetize all your, you know, maximize all your leads. So this video call was about follow-up, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to create another task for follow-up. Okay. So right here, we're going to say follow-up with what I told her I would do. Uh, Look at comp, see if I can do an option to purchase agreement at 190K. So we are going to uh, do another one. All right, let's call. So Stacy's a realtor. Let's call her. I don't give a bump. So last he's my home, he said, bro, watch and take calls. Appreciate it, dude. Trying to get a deal locked up right now while I'm live on the batch call. At the tone, please uh-huh. record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, I'm just calling to um, chat with you about the property that you have listed. One of my employees put a property, your number on property that you listed in um, Ogden, 424 North 660 East. Uh, give me a call back. I'd like to make an offer on the property um, and chat with you about it. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So there you go. That was the, the voicemail. And the cool thing, if you guys don't have Kixi, the really cool thing is it um, has a button where you can press and it will just leave an automatic voicemail. Just say, hey, call me back. Uh, I don't, I didn't use that on this one, but it's whatever. So then what else you can do guys is send an SMS from here. And by the way, guys, there is a um, automated text templates in here too, which is really cool. Uh, so you can just go, you know, no answer left voice. Hey, this is Nathan. I just left you a voice. I want to be a good time to chat with the property. Great. So I didn't have to even text that out. So I'll send that three piece so far. 
call, voicemail, text. Okay, what am I missing? You guys know what I'm missing. I'm missing the email. So let's send an email. All right, everybody. So what did we do today? All right, let's review. First of all, this is brought to you by Batch Leads. So if you don't have Batch Leads, get it. It's in the description. It's a great way to get deals. Um, but we're doing going over automated and manual follow-up. What is automated follow-up? Again, you need it because you can't, I mean, look, I've been doing this for what, 30 minutes? I can't follow it up with like three, four people. Manual will never get it done quick enough. You, you, need, you need automation or be able to text blast, email blast people so you can get to a hold of more people. So automate, automated follow-up is texts or emails, workflows that go and hit people up uh, as you go. And uh, that's automated. And a manual is what I've just been doing. It's the three piece, the four piece combo call text uh, voicemail and then email so anyway guys um this is a good call again brought to you by batch leads the leader in data no data no deals peace out real estate nate is out crush it everybody and let me tell you one last thing before i go i keep on saying that you want to make money make offers that's it okay you're not making offers you're not making money